We have this website called Gyms and Trainers. The site shows a bunch of gyms. And clicking into a gym brings you to a full page about that gym. Notice there's all these different fields for title, photos, ratings, the type of fitness the gym does, and more. All of these fields are custom made. Wouldn't it be cool if each user who owned a gym could see an edit button right on the front of the website and be able to update information about their gym without them needing to have access to the back end of the website? That's what this lesson is about, creating an edit form for users. Okay, so now I've switched and I'm signed in as a gym owner. I'll show you what that user would see. Notice that Balance Gym has an edit button, whereas none of the other gyms have one. That's because the user I'm signed in as has created this gym, so they're the author of this post. This edit button can only be seen by me when I'm signed in. Plus, the admin of the website would see all of the edit buttons. But nobody else would see or have access to this edit button. Additionally, if I click into this post, there's an edit button on the post itself. Again, only I would see this button. If I click on either of the edit buttons, I'm taken to a form. Notice this form has all of the same fields as the post itself. Title, the type of fitness the gym does, and more. I can go in, change anything I want, and then hit the submit button and then the post will be updated. This is a fantastic feature if you're running a magazine site and you want your authors to be able to update their own posts. Or a classifieds website where people can update their ads. In this case, it's gyms, but imagine a realtor adding and updating information for houses. Okay, let's review. Our goal. Whenever a gym owner comes to their page, an edit button will appear only for them. Nobody else will see this edit button except that gym owner and the site admin. And this gym owner will not be able to edit other people's gym listings. All of this is done using toolset forms and toolset access. And it's not very hard to do. Let's step you through the process. Overview of the process. First, we're going to create a form. It's almost identical to the form we made to create a post, but now it's to edit a post. This form will be placed inside of a generic template that's not assigned to any particular post type. It's basically a shell container to hold the form. Now, we want to have an edit button on the gym post, and the posts are being displayed by their own template. So we're going to add some code into the gym template that links to the form and also displays the edit button. It's almost the same as creating a link to a new page, but the code is different. And you put it there with a few mouse clicks. You don't need to type anything. Okay, let's jump in and actually do it. Creating the form. We'll start by going to Toolset, Post Forms, Add new. Name it. Our goal here is to edit posts that already exists, so choose Edit Existing Content. Post type, Gyms. We can hold revisions for review, but in this case, let's just let them post immediately and choose Post Status Published. After visitors submit this form, you can send them to an entirely new page and thank them there, or have them do other things. But in this case, we'll simply display a message, thank you for the submission. Form Editor. This is basically all the fields that were already in your gyms post, and how they'll show up on this editing form. We'll take a look at a few of them. We can allow them to change their title, in this case, it's the gym's name. And in this case, content refers to the text field with all of the gym's about us information. We'll allow them to change their specialties if they want. This was set up as a taxonomy, like categories and regular posts. We'll allow them to display as a list of checkboxes. The next one is their star rating. My feeling is that we wouldn't want a gym owner to be able to edit this. 
Otherwise, all the gyms would just go in and give themselves a five-star rating. So let's delete this as an option on this form. Another field like this is further down, Featured Gym. Let's delete this one as well, since we don't want gym owners to have control of this. Okay, the rest of the fields for address, photos, and all that other stuff is fine. Let's hit the Continue button, and we're finished creating this form. Add the form to a blank template. Now let's make a blank content template to put that form into. Toolset, Content Templates, Add New. Don't assign any post type. On the new page, add block, toolset form block, and select the form we just created. You can also add in any other items you want in this template, such as instructions, headings, or whatever. Adding the form to each post. I'm going to show you the process really fast so you get an overview, and then we'll go over it again much slower. The recipe for adding the edit link to the post template is 1. Navigate to the post template. 2. Insert a fields and text block. 3. Select the add form button. 4. Select the edit post link button. And 5. On a drop down list, select the generic template we created that holds the form and insert. Okay, here is the same thing again, much slower with explanations. 1. Navigate to the post template. This page is a Jim's post, and its layout was created with a content template. Let's look at that template. We'll go to our dashboard. There's a row just for gyms, and over here is our template for gyms. Let's click into it. So, here's our template. It has assigned places for every element that shows up on the gyms post page. We now have to design where on this layout we want to have our edit button show up. I want to add an edit button right here on the top but WordPress doesn't give us a plus block button on top, so we'll add it to the first row we see. We'll move it up to the top later. We're going to add in a fields and text block. Now this third icon over is the add form button. We'll select that. In the dialog that appears, look under the other toolset forms actions section and click on the edit post link button. We aren't adding an actual form, we're just adding an edit link. Okay, we use this drop-down to select the content template we created earlier. And click the blue Insert Shortcode button to save. That's it! A link to edit the current post will now display on your single posts. But as I mentioned earlier, let's move this to the top of the page by clicking the up arrow. Adding the form to a list of posts. What if we wanted to add the same edit button to this entire list, so a user can quickly see all the posts that they own and edit them? Well, we've already created the edit form, and we've already put it into its own content template. So all we need to do now is add the edit button to our view that lists out all of these gyms. If we go to our back end, we see that the gyms are actually being listed out with an archive loop, which is very similar to a view. You can watch toolset video lessons about this topic to understand the subtle differences better. Here, all we need to do is pick a spot where we want to add our button, and we'll do the exact same thing we did in our post. Add a fields and text block, click the add form button, in the other toolset forms actions section, Click the Edit Post Link button. And save. It's now there, and on the front end, we see the Edit button on all the posts. That's because I'm signed in as the administrator of this website, so I have permission to see all of the posts. Limiting access to the posts. The next step will be to limit the access for each post, 
so gym owners will only be able to edit their own posts and nobody else's. We'll teach you how to do that in the next lesson about toolset access and editing forms.